Hey guys, welcome to IT Contents channel and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can reset a Windows account password with Hirens Boot. So if you've forgotten your Windows password and you want to recover the data or you want to remove the password itself. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Hirens Boot. So navigate your browser so that we download the actual CD itself or the ISO image. So you want to go to your browser and you will navigate to the links in the description or you can go to Hirens Boot CD dot org it will take you to this screen right here so what you want to do is you want to click on this download link okay once you click on the download this is just some of the things that it can do and as you can see we're going to use this as our imaging tool so you want to go all the way down way until you see this file name you want to click on that and then you should see your download pop up on the corner so i want to download that since i already have it so i'll cancel it and also you want to go here to rufus dot ie so here we're going to download the imaging tool that we're going to use to create a usb image itself so here you want to scroll down and you want to click on the latest one there and as you can see it's under 1.3 megs there so you can just grab that okay so once you have those two things in place you also want to have an 8 gigabyte or more usb stick okay so once you have that once you've downloaded that you want to have these two things so which is rufus and the image itself so what we are going to do is double click on rufus it should bring up prompt so if it doesn't bring up a prompt for you it's okay but yes so here you see the actual usb that you have connected to your pc make sure it's the right one so for me i'm using a 16 gig flash drive then you want to click on select iso and you want to look for the iso so where did you put it so for me it's on the desktop so i'll go on desktop and select herring's boot cd like that and click ok so now here it's up to you you can either go with dpt or mbr so mbr will be compatible with both uefi and also bio systems but if you go for dpt it will only accept uefr so it's up to you to choose which one are you going to go for and what type of systems are you going to be running it on okay so for me i'll use the same gpt like that then i'll just this is a name that is going to be given to the drive you can still change it if you want to but for me i'll just go and start and then here you can just click yes just a warning telling you to delete everything on the drive so you want to leave it here to do its thing to copy all the files and once it's done doing that we'll restart the system and i'll show you how you can boot from the actual drive and how you can reset the account okay so once the usb stick is done you should see this ready don't click start again it will restart okay so you just want to close now and what we can do now where these things are done so what we're going to do now is reboot the system and then i'm, I'm going to show you how you can do the reset so now once you put in your bios you should see your boot menu like something like this so here what we want to do we want to boot from that usb stick so as you can see mine is that sun disk as you can see so just press enter and just leave it to load from the usb stick itself so it's going to boot from the usb stick so you just need to give it some time and be patient and if you use the usb 3 plugged in in a usb 3 port you should see it pretty quickly load up like that okay as you can see this is exactly what you should see it will boot up normally like that so here so that's the sound that has gone on okay so once it's done now what you want to do here is you can either go into this utilities under utilities here you want to go here after that you want to click there and you should see this to here so you just want to double click on that and then you want to just click open so and as you can see now you've got a list now what i can do is click change as you can see i've left it blank okay save exit as easy as that restart so now i'll switch on my pc again since i didn't say restart i shut it down but you can just say restart and now you should see that we should go through without any issues and there was no need for you to reinstall windows that's how you can do it then you will have your recovered a system like that so you should see it like that as you can see we're in so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more pc tips 